Hi everyone, we're at a very important event um, here at the Munich Show and that's the launch of Patrick Dreyer's book on carving gemstones in Edar. Now, he's on the stage now talking about the book, but as we know, he's one of the master carvers out of Edar. I've known him personally for a few years now and I was very privileged to go to Edar and work with him, see what he does. He introduced me to many of the carving factories, the people who are doing this beautiful workmanship on the ground, including himself, which is what his book is about. Um, Gemological Association that I'm the CEO of, we supported that in terms of writing some things for the book and giving out in quality endorsement because the work is world class and you can see some of the pictures he's showing to this really engaged audience are just fabulous. So I'm actually personally immensely happy for him, it's well deserved, it's been a long time coming, we will have a few wines and some cake afterwards to celebrate this, um, but I think it's a wonderful occasion here at the show. Okay, well here we are viewers, we're getting the after party for the Patrick Dreyer launch of the book. I'm really pleased again to see Rudy Pohl of the Granada Gallery and he's going to tell us a little bit about Scott and what's going on with the book after this. Well it's a, it's a great project, it's been uh, years in the making and uh, honestly I'm just really Glad that we are able to contribute to that project yeah, yeah. a little bit, and um, you guys saw the Dreyer exhibition that we did in Tucson this year. Super, some amazing pieces. Yeah. I think one of the, the rare exhibitions that, that there have been of Dreyer pieces in the U.S. Yeah, and sure. So we wanted to kind of mirror that concept with our, our booth here at the Munich Show, right? And we're able to get some fantastic pieces from a private collection from different collectors to yeah. show them here. Some are even for sale, and um, yeah, we'll we'll be surely sure to bring some pieces back to Munich, uh, back to Tucson yeah. next year as well. Well, I, well, I, well, I found when I'm here is that I see some of this material and it, it astonishes me how good it is. I went in yeah. the back there and looked at those things and I noticed there's a snail there that is phenomenal. And I was just caught by this snail because to me, this is the perfect example. It is, this is cut out of one piece of material. It's looked at carefully. You may spend months trying to work out what you want your end product to look like and you use all of the material to try and to mimic the, your subject matter. And I think even this agate here looks resi resinous, like the snail's ready to come alive and leave a trail of slime on my hand. And the, 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 the beautiful matteness of the shell and the use of material, I think it's one of the, the best things I've ever seen Patrick do. Okay, well here we are, we're at the Patrick Dreyer launch and we are now with the man of the moment and that is Patrick Dreyer. Hi. Nice Pleasure to meet you again, mate. Nice now, let you tell me something. It's all about the book, all about the carvings, but I think it's all about the man himself. Because from my personal point of view, Patrick showed me around Edar and introduced me to Edar. So I just wrote a couple of pages for the book. I'm so happy that it's in there for you. But I know that you're quite an unassuming man, but you produce the most wonderful objects. And I think the book is a great testament to your artistry, your family, and your work. Today is a beautiful day for me. The presentation of the book was amazing. Yeah. I thank you again, all people that help us for the book, yeah. also sponsor, like people like you to oh. help you. I'm so <laughs> proud of me that you helped us. It was great. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we, as I said, we spent some great time together. Yeah. I know it's been a tiring day and uh, people can come to the Munich Show and see these wonderful things. They can come to the Granada Gallery in Tucson and see them again. And also new items at work that we don't want to know about yet, but yeah, we look sure. forward to seeing in the future. Yeah. And I just want to say, first class. Thank you. Well Thank done, you mate. So Thank you so much, mate. Uh, one of the most fantastic pieces, Tawny Frog, using the material to bring life to the subject matter. And it is just a wonderful quality um, insight into uh, a masterpiece of our time. Well, hi again, everyone. Uh, as you know, we just looked at the snail, but then Rudy told me that he has another one and he's really kindly gone and got it. And so we're now going to have a look at it. What I like about this is that it shows how these things are presented. There's a beautiful velvet box that they come in. I noticed there is this on the top. Yes, so, so you know it's Patrick. It's Patrick, uh, PD Patrick Dea, original piece. That's really neat. I think okay. that's really cool. And so here is another snail. What is inside? Wow. That is amazing. I'll let you bring that out. Oh. That is incredible. Can I, can I hold it? Look at that, our viewers must be thinking, wow. So I'm, I'm absolutely astonished. This is a, a Patrick Dreyer snail. 
Um, originally, it was a large piece of agate that had different kinds of banding, and he's utilised, he's studied the material to utilise the banding. And this, this looks like a real shell. It does. It looks like a real shell. And the way he's used the polishing techniques to get this resinous luster of the snail as well. But really importantly for me is, is the really tiny, subtle um, differences that define quality. And that is using the browner type material and actually knowing that there is that material here to pick out the, the edges of the snail here to highlight that. Uh, and into me, to me, it looks like it could just sort of sliver off, sliver up my arm. Uh, the, the realism of the shell is just unbelievable. And this, this was months of studying the items and working out what you want, and um, even the undulations he has here to sort of give some movement to the object, I think it's fascinating. And I, I've never been one for sort of uh, hard stone carvings, you know, they're sort of quite eclectic, but I, I, I get it, I've really started to get it because I know the passion and the quality and experience and the, the finding of the material that is perfect to make such a wonderful artistic uh, object. <laughs>